Red is for danger. Red is what I said. Oh, there's Bronwyn. Oh, he thinks I'm just being friendly. I need to let him know we're in danger. I can't believe I forgot my phone. Red is for danger. <laughs> Red is for... <gasps> Brilliant! Red is for danger. Re Red is for danger. Something's wrong. Oh, I hope Sam understands. Mum! Nipper's escaping! Hmm, no answer. Better ring emergency services. Better phone Mountain Rescue! No worries, mate. Uh, I mean, sir, I'll find them. <laughs> Nipper? How did you get out here? Nipper! Come back! <laughs> I might be needed. What's the problem? My leg! I'll call Nurse Flood. Why isn't anybody answering their phones today? Hello? <laughs> Nipper brought me. Nipper! What a clever boy. You're going to be fine. We need to get you to a hospital to have this leg x-ray. Tom, we're going to need a stretcher down here. Run you off, Sam. <laughs> Sam will look after you, love. I'll meet you at the Stop, hospital. Tom. This exercise goes well. Dolly's relying on us. She's in safe hands, Elvis. Norman Price hasn't returned for his lunch. He's hiding somewhere in Pontypendy. We should call Tom Thomas, sir. He can see for miles from his helicopter. <gasps> Good idea, Sam. That means the training exercise can still go ahead as planned. OK, Mandy, is there anywhere you haven't searched yet? Only the fire station, but I don't think Norman would hide there. We'd better check it out anyway. Don't say much, do you? That sounds like Tom's helicopter. I wonder what the emergency is. <laughs> Must be a fire somewhere. I can smell burning. OK, sir. The fire is ready. You can start the exercise. Oh, great! Time to sound the alarm. OK, let's get busy. Emergency at the training tower. A fire has trapped somebody on the top floor. We'll need Jupiter and Venus on this one. Good luck, team. We'll have you out in no time. Let's take a sweep of the beach. Wait! Oh, no! Look at the training tower! It's Norman! 
Todd Thomas to Jupiter Crew. Look at the top of the tower, Sam. It's Norman Price. What's he doing up there? Help! Elvis, you keep the fire at bay. Penny, stabilize Jupiter and raise the ladder. a search party. If we give Radar some clues to sniff, he might pick up their trail. Whereabouts on Ponty Pandy Mountain were they going, Mike? Uh, sorry, Tom. I, I keep racking me brains, but I just can't remember. Um... Oh, now, that looks like Helen's. Here you go, Radar. Find Helen. Ponty Panty Mountain is that way, Sam. I know. Where is he taking us? <laughs> it wasn't me! <laughs> Hello, Rita. What are you doing here? We're searching for Penny and your mum, Mandy. Radar took one sniff of your mother's blouse and led us straight here. That's not a blouse. That's a dress and it's mine. Oh, I can't believe you gave Radar the wrong clothes to sniff, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't remember whose was whose. This is definitely Mum's. Wait! I remember. I remember where Helen said they were going. The well path and over tall hill. Come on, Rita. You can find them. Penny? I'll be fine, thanks to Helen. Oh, I'm glad you remembered to send out a search party, Mike. Of course I did. And uh, even remembered where you were going. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm taking a nurse with me next time I go hiking. Helen just wrapped my sprained ankle in a flash. Aha! So that's how you do it. <laughs> what? What did I do? This? <laughs> that was my little secret. Why didn't I notice that? Oh. <laughs> A forest fire? Sarah and James Jones missing? Lightning has stuck in the forest, and there's a fire. Two children are missing. We could take Radar. He could help us look for them. I don't think he's up to it. He's too nervous. We've at least got to give him a chance. I'll fetch him. I've called Tom, too. He can fight the fire from the helicopter. <laughs> Come on, boy. You can do it. <laughs> well done.
them things we saw on the way in and follow them. Like, like that big rock for a start. Bronwyn, do you have anything belonging to the twins so that Radar can get their scent? Only their waterproofs. Here, boy. Take a sniff of these. Come on, Radar, we need you. We've got to find James and Sarah. Good boy. There was. They're just very good at hiding, that's all. <gasps> James! What? The water! We're trapped! <gasps> yes, I saw them a couple of hours ago. I think they were heading to the beach. Well, they're not back. And the tide's in. And I'm going to call Fireman Sam. James, Sarah, Norman, missing? Oh, dear. James, Sarah and Norman are all missing. They are seen on the beach. Alert Mountain Rescue, sir. Tom can search from the air. Penny and I will search from the water. Sarah. I got you. But where are Norman and James? They went into the cave, but I don't know if they can get out. The cave entrance looks flooded, Sam. Help! 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 James, look! There's something swimming under the water. Ah! It's a sea monster! But Norman, there's no such thing as... Hello, boys. Norman, come back. It's Penny. I knew that. Don't be scared. You're safe now. I'll get you out. What about me? I'll be right back, Norman. Hold on to me, James. Oh, it's chilly. Don't worry, James. The tide is going out again now. The water's going down. I knew I'd have work to do. Um, Elvis, what are you doing? Just trying out my new mop, Penny. And I'll have you know that I've decided to walk forward so there won't be any more accidents. No, but there will be footprints. Huh? Why does mopping have to be so complicated? I'll have to order a new belt for your washing machine, Dillis. 
You must have overloaded it. It wasn't me. It was no man. Now you know why I never ask him to do anything. <laughs> uh, see you, Dillis. Hello. Hi, Mike. No man. Oh, what now? I did the washing. No, you broke the washing machine. Oh. So now, you need to ask Mike very nicely if you could wash our dirty clothes in his machine. What? <laughs> but, uh, oh. Have fun, Norman. I wonder if Sarah and James want to go skateboarding. <sighs> you know, Norman, I don't much like housework either. But if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. Emergencies always happen when you don't want them to. Fire at the flood house, Sam. Any eight Venus as well. from the house, Mike. We'll take it from here. Elvis, switch the electricity off. OK, Sam. I know I am. I think my dad was right. Rita's not really a rescue dog. Come on. We better take him back to the station. <coughs> Be quiet, silly dog. <gasps> Wait, Mandy. I think I hear something. Don't be silly. <coughs> That's my dad's fun. <laughs> Dad! Dad, what happened? Are you all right? Oh! I'll phone Fireman Sam. Mike Flood's had an accident. He's trapped at the whole fish cafe. Accident at the whole fish cafe. Person trapped. We'd better radio Nurse Flood. It sounds like we could need medical assistance. Okay, Sam. Easy, Mike. We'll soon have you out of here. Oh. Be careful, Sam. Don't move him. We need to immobilise him in case he's injured his back. I brought the stair chair to lift him out, Sam. 
We can't use the stair chair, Elvis. There aren't any stairs anymore. We'll need the stretcher. Great, uh, stretcher. Easy does it now. Oh, what's more important, lion or a silly bit of tape? Right now! Oh, that's... Do as I say, it's dangerous! At the Flood's house. Oh no, the firework party! <laughs> Whoops, not again. <laughs> There's a fire at the Flood's. There must have been an accident with the fireworks. Elvis, Sam, take Jupiter, I'll man the control desk. Shed right now! Don't say that, Norman! Sam! Sam! We think Lion might be hiding in that workshop! Again? Okay, we'll check. Sign of lion. He wasn't in the shed, I'm sure of it. Ooh, oh, well done, Sam. Goodness. That's lucky. Oh, thank goodness. I want to go home now to see if lions turned up. I'll give you a lift. Oh, but we haven't seen all the fireworks yet. I think we've had enough fireworks for one night. Me too. Next time we're going to a proper display, it's much safer. We haven't put out a fire that big for a long time. So long, I nearly forgot how to do it. <laughs> what was that noise? Did you hear it, Elvis? Well, I never. It's Lion! Gorgeous. Uh, oi! Shoo! Off with you! Oh, Charlie! I was trying to make friends. I might have known. Again! Another false alarm for sure! 
That Norman price is the limit. Sam's not going to come. He'll think I'm pretending again and I'll be gobbled up like that boy in the cry wolf story. We both will. I'm so sorry, Mum. It's all my fault. I set the alarm off. I just wanted my ball back. Oh, Norman. <sighs> oh. Price, enough is enough. It... What are you doing up there? There's a wolf in the shop. Oh, look, <laughs> it's behind the counter. Honest, we're not pretending. That's not a wolf. It's a fox. And it's hurt by the look of it. Oh, poor thing. Get the grabber, Elvis. Oh, Sam, I was so scared. I thought you weren't going to come. We always respond to emergency calls, Norman, even if we think they're false alarms. Don't worry. This won't harm you, little fella. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I won't be long. It's Station Officer Steele's nose. Make sure you all take care now. Oh, at last! Great. Now we can see to test a smoke alarm. Ah, there you go, Dillis. And the rain stopped too. Things are looking up. Hooray! We can have the party and sing the song in the garden after all. Not broken then, are you sure? Quite sure. Just a graze. Oh, I'm glad the power is back on. I don't like the idea of Mike being in charge in the dark. I quite agree, Helen. It's not everyone who can stay calm in the dark, you know. <laughs> oh, sausages are nearly done. Oh, and here's Helen. Mum! Oh, wonderful. I've arrived just in time and didn't have to do anything. That was the plan. Oh, the napkins. I'll get them. No, I don't want you to do anything, remember? Something to do with the power cut. I'm back. Not for long, Sam. Come on. Right. So nobody's inside, you say? No, we're all out here. Okay. Penny? We'll need breathing apparatus. OK, Sam. Can you turn the electricity off at the mains, Penny? 